everyone and to the saints of the Most High God. You now listen to the whole truth program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we're led by Minister Smith. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, once again, we want to thank you. My God, we want to thank you, my God, for how you blessed us, by your mighty power to enter into the house of prayer that we may continue to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord God, we want to thank you, my God, for the word of God that's about to go over the ways of the airway. My God, we pray that you bless men and women all over the world, open their blinded eyes, my God, and stop their deaf ear. Lord God, circumcise their heart, my God, get them a heart of flesh, my God, that they may be able to receive the word of God in its fullness. Lord God, we pray that you give them a mind, my God, after hearing the word of God preached in its fullness, that they repent of their many sins, Lord God, that they be buried in water in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. Lord God, give them a mind to tarry until they be filled with the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Speaking with other tongues that the Spirit of God do give them up. Lord God, help them to continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, breaking the bread and in prayer. My God, we pray for the man of God. My God, help them to preach the word of God with boldness. My God, help them, my God, to preach the word to a dying world, my God, that they may also be saved. Lord God, we pray that you bless all the sick, the shut in, the burning down, the trouble. My God, them that are homebound, bedridden. Lord God, but let them know to look to the hills which come at their help. All of our helps come from the Lord that made heaven and earth. My God, continue to bless the church. Add to it daily such as should be saved. These and all blessings we ask in the great and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God. Amen. Again, you're listening to the Whole Truth Program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you will mail your correspondence to the Church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Doctrine Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Hartsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs, and the cardinal events as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Now, this time the choir will render a selection entitled, I'm Blessed. I'm blessed as I look around me. And now it is an end and on to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We are thankful and do give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
We do greet all of our viewers and listeners. We do greet you with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto the entire world in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is not another name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Everybody should have an ear to hear the word. Amen. It's written for our learning That's right. that we through patience and comfort of these scriptures might have hope. Amen. Our hope Today should be in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. We see the world as the words say about the world. Every day it's evil. And it's going to get worse and worse. And if our Lord and your God. If he wouldn't shorten the time. No flesh would be saved. No flesh. But because of the elect, yes. he's going to shorten the time. Mm -hmm. He's going to shorten the time for the elects. That's right. God have predestined somebody to be with him throughout eternity. Amen. 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 And you have to remember, he that have a heir, the Bible said, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. That's right. Amen. Somebody is not hearing. Right. They are dull of hearing, mm -hmm. as the word said. Mm -hmm. People don't want to hear about God. You have to remember, before we came on the scene, the word was here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. These scriptures were here. Glory to God. And the Bible said they're written for your learning. Yes. We need to learn from the word of God. Amen. We need to learn and know who God is. Yeah. He is the Almighty. All power, Jesus said, was given to him in heaven and earth. Amen. Told his apostles, amen, to go in the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Every creature. Yeah. That's what should be preached now. Amen. The gospel to every creature. Someone going to believe and somebody is going to be down. That's right. All right. Let's look at Mark. 1615. Yes. I want to let you know what the word say. Amen. Call me what you want to call me, but I'm calling the scriptures. I'm calling the word of God. Amen. And you don't have to hear it. But one thing about it, if you're dull of hearing, yeah. you're going to suffer the consequences. Amen. Amen. So I don't want to doubt him. I want to believe him. Amen. And I want to bring myself under subjection to the word of God because I don't want to be a castaway. Amen. Amen. After I preach the word to someone and they be saved and repent and be in the rapture, I myself could be lost if I don't live by the same gospel. Is that right? I'll be a castaway. All right, what is that, reader? Mark 16 and 15. All right. And he said unto them, What? Go ye into all the world. Now, this is the word of God. You don't have to hear it. But I guarantee you, when you get to the judgment seat of Christ, it's going to come back to you. That you haven't obeyed it. White man, Asian man, That's right. African man, you just name him. From every continent of the world, everywhere. Amen. The word is the same. Amen. And it's not going to change you now. Amen. What is it, Rita? Go ye into all the world. All right. And preach the gospel. See, men preaching their own philosophy now. Men preaching to see how great they are. For the people to applaud them. Yeah. Yeah. Clap them up. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to clap your hands to me. Clap them to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. 
Bible tell me when I clap, I better give God that glory. Yeah. I don't clap for me. I haven't done anything great. <laughs> All I'm doing is preaching the word. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Jesus already told me how great I can be, you know. A servant. Minister. A servant. That's as far as God and men go. Amen. You don't have to applaud him now. Because they're lowly people. Amen. They're just like Jesus were when Jesus was here. Amen. Is that right? Amen. When he found himself in fashion as a man like we are, you know what he did. Yeah. The oh, words, he humbled himself. Yes, he did. And thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Isn't that something? Man. But he didn't took upon him no reputation. Is that right? Yeah. Some men want a reputation that they're great. That's right. That they know everything about the word of God. I don't know it, but God knows. Yes, and, 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 and the word tell me that we don't know. Amen. If the scripture don't show it to me, it say he'll reveal it to us. Yes, he will. God will reveal it to the church. Yes. Amen. Is that right? He said, preach it. Don't preach yourself how great you are. You better preach Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that right? That's all we are. I say, a servant. Yes. Mark 9, 33. You can't get no greater than this. Amen. Don't lift your hand to clap for me. Amen. What do I deserve? Do I deserve a clap? God does, but not me. Amen. What you clapping for me for? You better obey this word. What did it say? Read it. And he came to Capernaum. Yes. And being in the house, he asked them. Yes. What was it that you disputed among yourselves See, by the way? All right. But they held their peace, for by the way they had disputed among themselves who should be the greatest. Who, listen, God fixes where we're not the greatest. Amen. And if a man preaching God's word by the Spirit, he's going to realize he's not so great. That's right. Amen. That's right. He's not so great. Amen. When Jesus was in flesh and humbled himself. That's right. And came obedient uh -huh. to death, yeah. even the death of the cross. That's yeah. right. He wasn't no big man. No, no. When he was in flesh, he humbled himself. Yes, he did. And equal with God. Equal what? With God. That's right. Oh. Is that right? Yeah, man. He didn't have a reputation going no, around no. saying, yeah, I am. I'm the son of God. No. Y'all don't hear me. I have power to throw you in hell fight. That's right. He didn't do that. He could, he could have. Oh, yeah. That's right. But he didn't. Amen. He wouldn't even call himself in many places the son of God. That's right. He wanted to come on down to man and That's show right. them, amen, that he was the son of man. That's right. That, that was humble, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh he humbled himself. Amen. And said, I, the son of man. That's why he called himself the son of man. That's right. Humble himself. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, man. What did he say, Rita? And he sat down and called the twelve and said unto them. What? If any man desire to be first. Yes. The same shall be last of all. Look out. And servant of all. Look out. Man. What you clapping for me for? I ain't nothing but a servant. Last, last of all. <laughs> and I'm last of all? Last of all. Thank you, Lord, for realizing the word of God. Yeah. The word say, condescend to men of low, low estate. estate. Yeah. Bring yourself down. Yes. Amen. You got Amen. to get down to preach God's word. Yeah. But that word goes out in authority. Yes, it oh, does. Yeah. That's right. You don't have to worry about the word. That's it's right. going to get the authority. If you don't get it, that word going to get it. Yes. It may whip you, but the word going to have the authority. Is that right? Amen. Amen. They whip their apostles, but they still speak the word. 
Yes. Amen. Amen. So it's repentance, truly, and baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. All you people, you think you're too sophisticated out there to humble yourself and be baptized. Amen. And go in water, amen, like Jesus did. Jesus humbled himself, didn't he? Yes, he did. My God, he humbled himself. And, and while Joan was over there in Jordan baptizing, just like John was baptizing the other people. Yes. Jesus Christ humbled himself and, and went to John. Suffered to be. Is that right? Amen. And, and John, John wanted to be baptized by him. He said, suffer it to be so that we fulfill all righteousness. All righteousness. That's All right. righteousness. That's right. Now he, ain't, he went in water. Jordan. Yes, he did. That was lowly, wasn't it? Yes, it was. He didn't have to be baptized. Because an example to the church, for us, uh, we have to go in water. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You have to humble yourself and go in water and be baptized. That's you right. know, it takes a humble person to go in water in the name of Jesus Christ. He have humbled himself. That's right. Exalted person not going to humble himself no. and go in their water and be baptized. Right. Amen. Is that right? That's the Man. truth. He wants something to complain about. Amen. Is that right? Man. All right, read it. What does it say? Mark 16 and 15. Yes. Go into all the world. And do what? And preach the gospel to every creature. Now, you have to preach the gospel to him. That's right. What gospel you preach to him? He that believeth then is baptized shall be saved. Now look at this. But he that believeth not. You have people in the world, people some of you all have in your own ways because you are in a different class. You call yourself from the human family. You are extra. You, you so intellectual that you know, but you don't know when you overlook the commandments of Jesus Christ. Amen. You have overlooked eternal life. Amen. And your money not going to buy you oh, no. eternal life. Oh, no. Is that right? Man. When you get sick unto death, your money going to fail you. That's but if we get sick unto death, we are in Jesus Christ. Amen. We don't need money. That's right. He said, he that believeth and is baptized, amen, shall be saved. Yeah. And he said, he that endureth, you have to endure in here. Yeah. yeah. And do it to the end, he said, the yeah. same yeah. shall be saved. Oh, yeah. Amen. So what we have to do, people, endure. That's right. Amen. 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 Servants are supposed to endure hardness as a good soldier. Right. Amen. Doesn't matter what it takes, he's a servant. Amen. And he has to endure hardness yeah. as a good soldier of the law. Surely, surely. He has to leave an example here for somebody. Amen. Is that right? That's right. Have to leave an example. Amen. What the word say, reader? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. That's the only way you can be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. You so sophisticated, you won't come and be baptized. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. You better come and be baptized. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. This is a commandment by Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. In the third chapter of John, Nicodemus was a great ruler. Great but Nicodemus, one thing about Nicodemus, he might have been, he might have was intellectual, <laughs> but one thing about him, I believe he was called an election show into the body of Christ. Yes. Nicodemus believed yeah. on Jesus yeah. and was a great ruler. Yeah. And he yeah. believed is that right? Amen. Yes, he did. And he came to Jesus uh -huh. by night. That's right. He didn't want his old buddies to see him out there. Well, you better come like Nicodemus then. That's right. You come and be baptized. I won't tell your buddies. <laughs> I'll just tell you what the words say. I won't tell them. You shame of God in this present world, he'd be shaming you before the angels. Yes. What did it say, Rita? 
John 3 and 1. All there right. Was a man of the Pharisees. Yes. Named Nicodemus. You see this? A ruler of the Jews. Look at this ruler. The same came w to would, Jesus by night. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be wonderful if Trump can humble himself <laughs> and come and be baptized? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think Trump would come in here and be baptized? He's too sophisticated for this. That's right. But here go a great ruler right. that God quickened. That's right. God touched his heart. That's right. That's and right. he decided to seek Jesus by night. That's he right. found him too. Amen. What is there reason? The same came to Jesus by night. Yes. And said unto him. What? Rabbi. Rabbi. We know. See? This man knew and he was a ruler. That's right. So Trump can come right on in here. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Come right on in here. Yes, sir. And bring his vice president. To yes, sir. That's right. Bring the speaker of the house. Right. To right. All of them can be baptized. Yeah. Oh, we have able-bodied men here to be baptized. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what? Nicodemus came. Yeah. What did they read it? And said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. That's right. But no man can do these miracles. No man can do these miracles. That thou doest. That thou doest. Except God be with him. Except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him. What? Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Truly, truly, I say unto thee. Except a man be born again. Uh-huh. He cannot see the kingdom of God. You can't see the kingdom of God. Man. Not going to get there. Amen. Read on. Nicodemus saith unto him. Yes. How can a man be born when he is old? See, you better listen at this word. Here go a great ruler that didn't know what he had to do, but Jesus got the picture over to him. Amen. He understood what Jesus was talking about. Amen. What did it say? How can a man be born when he is old? All right. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Look at this man. Jesus answered. What? Verily, verily, I say unto thee. What? Except a man be born of water. See, this is the gospel here. Amen. This is the gospel here. And of the spirit. This is the gospel. Uh -huh. Preach it. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You hear what Jesus say here? This is the gospel. Amen. Except a man be born again Amen. of the water and of the spirit. Yes. This is the gospel. He can't enter in. Amen. Amen. He cannot. You have to get the spirit in. Oh, yeah. What does it say, Rita? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit. Water and of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Can't get in there. That's right. So how you, a lot of people pay their way into certain things. And because they are represented as highly amongst the human family. How they going to get in? If they don't repent. Jesus made it fixed. Have it fixed with everybody. Have to do the same thing. That's right. Is that right? Yeah, I don't care what you are. What kind of man you say you are. Amen. Doesn't matter what part of the world you came from. All of, all of us have to do the same thing. Go down in the water and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the gospel. That should be preached. Into all the world. Amen. He that believeth yes. and is baptized yes. shall be saved. That's right. Amen. He that believeth not, yeah. you hear what Jesus say here? Shall be damned. Now you know what that means, right? Amen. Shall be damned. Is that right? Amen. I'm talking about really damned. I'm not talking profane language what people uh, use. Uh, it go a little further than that. Amen. It go right on down to Hellfire. Hellfire. Amen. Brimstone and fire. Yeah. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Is that right? Amen. The word warning you now. Amen. What is it, Rita? Read on. And these signs shall follow them that believe. What's going to happen? In my name shall they cast out devils. Devils have to come out in his name. They shall speak with new tongues. Speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. 
Dig up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing. And if they drink any deadly thing. It shall not hurt them. It shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. And what's going and to happen? And they shall recover. That's, that's in the name of Jesus Christ. Man. They shall recover. Man. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them. What? He was received up into heaven. Uh -huh. And sat on the right hand of God. Sitting in power. And they went forth. Uh-huh. And preached everywhere. <laughs> what did they do? And they went forth and preached everywhere. All right. The what Lord did they preach? The Lord working with them. The Lord working with them. And confirming the word with signs following. Look up. Amen. Amen. Confirming the word with signs. Amen. 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 That's it. Man. Zilch. Cut it off. That's the gospel. Man. Is that right? Man. And that's what Jesus said preach. I'm not ashamed to preach the gospel. Man. Is that right? Man. The Apostle Paul said he wasn't ashamed. Amen. Amen. He wasn't ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of it, he said. That's right. Is that right? Amen. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, Romans 1, 16. All right. For it is the power of God unto salvation. Do you see what this is? To everyone that believe it. Man, it's in power when you believe on the Lord yes. Jesus. Yes. Man. Don't you know when you believe, faith makes you be a righteous person. That's right. Some of you can't do right because you don't have any faith in That's Jesus right. Christ. That's right. But if you have faith in him, it will make you a righteous person. Yes, it will. Amen. Every hindering cause, Hello. the power will take you all over this. You won't have Amen. any problem. Amen. Amen. Because you believe. Faith will move all that old mess out of your mind. Thank you, Lord. It'll move adultery out your mind. Yes. Fornication out yes. your mind. Yes. Hatred out of your yes. mind. Yes. Emulation out of your mind. Yes. Is that right? Yes. It'll take all of this from you. I see why some of you people hate so much. You don't have any faith in Jesus Christ. Right. And guess what? You still have a mountain in your life of sin. May God bless you. May I be listening to the whole truth program coming to you from the sanctuary of East Church and the Lord Jesus Christ from Apostle Dr. Corporate. Located in Hartford, South Carolina, where Mr. Joseph is there, is Pastor Gerald. Hello. Tune in again to hear the word of God. Preach to the storm. Baptized into the body.